Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. And I am talking an over the top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise. In Doomsday Trailer, it is an absolutely glorious Saturday morning. I think that is January 27th, 2024, here in Paradise. And I have a gig I need to uh, get together to join my buddies. We have a gig out on the, out on the lake that I need to get ready for. Before I go, uh, I need to get something off my chest once and for all and forever. I am making this video, obviously, for one human being on this planet. This video goes out to the woman I love. If any of you eavesdroppers want to sit here and listen in on it, I guess you're welcome to. Uh, and if there's anything in this final love letter to Dulcinea from Hamba and Little Tail, that can help you if, if you are in the situation that I have been in, the hopeless situation that I have been in for the past four and a half years. If there's anything that I say in this video that can help you work through what you're going through, uh, I, I, hope, I hope there's something to help you. But other than that, I am speaking to one person And uh, before I, I launch into this video, darling, I, I want you to know that whatever I am getting ready to say, I don't know whether it's going to take me 15 minutes or an hour, whatever I'm getting ready to say does not change the fact one iota that... I will go to my grave knowing that you are the woman that I have been waiting for for my entire life. I knew it the first time I saw your face. I know it now. I will know it on the day that I die. So nothing I'm getting ready to say changes that fact. And with that, where to begin? So as some of you know, uh, I decided to consult the mushroom guide last night uh, about what to do about this blockage in my life, this in, in my heart and in my life uh, to, to clear the space in my heart that has been taken up for the past four and a half years to uh, consult the mushroom guide for some advice and I cannot believe that I never did this. In four and a half years, I never did this. I, I, I was just watching, I, I just put out here a few days ago that uh, Terrence McKenna quote about cleaning your disc. That psilocybin mushroom is an excellent, <laughs> is an excellent way 
to clean your disk and give yourself a new operating system. Never in four and a half years with all the, with all the living hell uh, I, I have suffered I uh, never took Terrence McKenna's advice to check in with the Mushroom God for his advice. And so um, what happened was what, what, what finally led me to, to this decision to get the Mushroom God's advice is that uh, Thursday night I finally sent uh, Dulcinea, uh, I, I don't want to use the word ultimatum uh, because what was the threat? You know, it wasn't an ultimatum. I sent her a, a two question multiple choice, a, a, a two answer multiple choice question. A is, you want to be my doomer chick forever until the day we die. That's A. Or B, Dulcinea does not want to be my doomer chick forever till the day I die. And, and I sent that out to her and went down there to that picking party and to sit there and and, and, and look at the moon and on the drive back uh, was ju just in, uh, in, in, a, in terror of opening the, my email uh, from Dulcinea to see whether uh, the letter A or the letter B uh, and, and of course, my my heart uh, was praying for the letter A, and my head was pr my mind, my head, whatever you want to call it, was praying for the letter B. So my heart and my head were having this big fight: which is it going to be, A or B? While well, I figured that. She was just going to ignore the uh, the the multiple choice question, uh, and and so it would still be unresolved. So, not surprisingly, I get home and I have an email from her with one letter in it, and you can imagine what the letter is. The letter C. The letter, uh, the letter C. Ah, well, now I don't know, uh, where are you, darling? I have lost, uh, maybe my, uh, maybe, uh, this is gonna happen quicker than I thought, uh, so, she answered the letter C. Now, what this could have been, as I talked about briefly with the mushroom god, and I'll mention, it could be what she was saying by the letter C is him, um, uh, there are other options between all or nothing. There is another option. There are probably a million options between all or nothing, between your black and white. There's a thousand shades of gray. And why don't we explore some of those shades of gray together? But I need, uh, 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 I, I, I need an, an end to this. I'll get back to this letter C probably later in this rant. Uh, so, I interpreted it since it was it was closer in the alphabet to the letter B. I just sent her a probably a, a, a little bit uh, a, a little bit nasty 
uh, kiss off letter, which I feel a little bit bad about, but it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Uh, it was it, it was somewhat toned down, and then I said, okay, it is time to uh, to consult the mushroom god. So unfortunately. I only had one gram of dried psilocybin mushroom. I wish I had had two to three. I would, I, I would have preferred to go in two or three deep, but it was what the universe had given me. So I took this, uh, you know, I went down, I, I, I actually mixed them up in a, in a glass of pineapple juice and went down to the dock to uh, to take these mushrooms during sunset. And of course, on a beautiful Friday afternoon, there were a bunch of people down there. And I and so I drank these mushrooms at uh, at five thirty is when I drank these mushrooms, and I could not fucking believe how fast and strong they came on. Like, like Jesus, I, I I was wondering if I was going to be able to get back to the damn trailer. So I, I uh, it, it could not, you know, usually these shrooms take 30 to 45 minutes to hit. I, I mean, it was uh, within 15 minutes, uh, the, the shrooms were uh, were batting my brain. So I got home as fast as I could to Doomsday Trailer to uh, prepare for this trip. And the hilarious thing about it is, you know, when you, <clears throat> when you do mushrooms, I always like to, you know, set an intention. You know, it's the set and setting. So I, I wanted to set the intention that what the intention that I was setting, since I knew my heart was never going to let go of Dulcinea, wasn't going to happen, could not happen, till the day I die, that what I was asking of, <laughs> what I was asking the mushroom guide was to give my head a pass in this instance since you know the mushroom god is a champion of following your heart I, I, I was just pleading with the mushroom god I've been following my heart for four and a half years and it's gotten me nowhere so mushroom god I, I want you to give me a pass on this one and and let my head overrule my heart and, and, and send this woman on her way. Now, my head knew within two weeks of meeting this woman uh, that I needed uh, Dulcinea in my life like I needed a goddamn hole in my head. Uh, so my head set Dulcinea packing four years and in, in, in five months. You see what I'm saying? So my head is known all along, but my heart didn't give a shit what my head had to say. And so Dulcinea uh, just installed herself into my heart, and as long as she was there, uh, there was no room left in there for another woman. And uh, so my heart has been dragging this albatross around for four and a half years. So that's the deal that I tried to cut uh, with the mushroom god. Well, like you can actually cut a deal with the mushroom god, number one. And number one, me, me being so, so fucking egotistical, thinking that you can cut a deal with the mushroom god, number one. And number two, that the mushroom god is going to give you a pass on anything. 
you do not cut a deal with the mushroom god and the mushroom god sure as shit is not going to give you a pass the mushroom god is going to tell you what you need to hear you might not like it but uh the mushroom god is going to tell you uh uh, what you need to hear, I, I, I mean, th th this is how arrogant I was. Just a few nights ago, the last conversation I had, I'm assuming, in my entire life with this woman, where Dulcinea and I had this absolutely wonderful conversation for two and a half hours, I think it was Monday night, uh, that that she and I, uh, you know, it, it was working right, and we were actually making plans to do mushrooms together, that she and I uh, were going to do mushrooms together, and I was still thinking, I was this arrogant and egotistical as of Monday night talking to her that if, if, if I could just get Dulcinea to do mushrooms with me, that the mushroom god would obviously uh, point out to her that you were ham bones, doomer chick forever, that I was going to enlist the mushroom god to, to send a message to this woman that she was going to be my doomer chick forever like like i like i <laughs> like hambone little tail uh had the power to tell the mushroom god what to tell somebody in their mushroom trip i actually believed this i i, I believed this 24 24 hours ago so anyway so i go into the trip uh with the uh, with with the mushroom god, th that the mushroom god is going to give my head a pass and just let Dulcinea go and give me my life back. So I get back to the trailer and, and, and I sit down in my chair and and take about ten deep breaths. And I cannot believe it. It was the, the only thing it reminded me of is the story, you know, when I finally had after 22 years of torture with those fucking space aliens, when I finally uh, in, invited them into my brain to, uh, you know, for our final showdown so uh, I could send them on their way, that how quickly after I, after I fell asleep, uh, how quickly they came in, 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 into my brain. And it was the same way with this mushroom trip. So I, I come back, this is like maybe 40 minutes after I had ingested one gram of dried mushrooms, took about 10 deep breaths, and, and, and I said, okay, mushroom god, let's deal with this little issue. And within one minute, there was, the, there was Dulcinea, and it's just like I kind of went, this very gentle breath, this and out she went. I could feel her disengaging from me and and I and I could not believe it. Uh, how easy it was four and a half years it took one gram of psilocybin mushrooms and one and and I could see her receding back in the background and and so I and, and so I actually laughed and said 
I can't believe how easy that was. I actually thought of Terrence McKenna, you know, talking about uh, how how psilocybin is, is, is such a great way of cleaning your disc and, and uh, making new space. Yeah, I've, I've actually for the last a uh, couple of weeks uh, I have been getting these messages on my computer that your desktop is full. You need to manage the storage off of your desktop. I've been getting these little warnings that uh, you have no more storage left on your desktop. And I've uh, been getting this little message from the universe. What is it on your desktop that you can get rid of? And, and I've gone through and, and tried to get rid of all of these things that I can let go of out of my life. But of course, the one up in the upper left corner, the Dulcinea file, uh, what was absolutely sacred. It wasn't going anywhere. It commanded the uh, upper left corner of my desktop. I would have gotten rid of an unbelievable number of things before I would have gotten rid of that. Uh, and, and, and so here I have the universe telling me it, you need to manage the space on your uh, on your desktop, uh, and, and Terrence McKenna saying how how psilocybin uh, is is the best way to manage storage on your desktop. Uh, ignoring both of those messages, still thinking that uh, I was going to enlist the mushroom god into convincing uh, Dulcinea to be my doomer chick forever. So anyway, so I do that. And, and I'm telling you guys, within one minute, it's, it's unbelievable how much healing had taken place. I accomplished more in one minute than, than I have in four and a half years. One minute, one gram uh, of dried psilocybin mushroom. Unbelievable, the amount of healing. And, and so I actually deluded myself that I was done with it. That I was done with it and, 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 and could move on to think of thinking about other things for the next six hours. And uh, then I, it, it, what, what occurred to me is, is, is that what had just happened with Dulcinea just immediately, I, I won't say she disappeared, she'll never disappear, but she receded into the background more than she's been since the day I, I met her. I noticed that it wasn't coming from my head, that it wasn't my head speaking to me, that it was my heart, that the, the message To let to the message to let her go. It wasn't coming from my head for the first time in my life. It was coming from my heart. It was my heart. Saying, Hambone, let her go. Give, uh, give us some space. And it was just, uh,
It, it was it was the first time. In, in four and a half years. That my heart had given myself permission to let her go. And let her go with love. And, and for the for the first time, <clears throat> you, you, you know you've heard that uh, that that little corny saying: "If you really love something, let it go." I never understood what that meant until last night. I just thought it was some sappy little hallmark greeting, some little teenage girl, whatever. I, I, I it, it, just some unadulterated horseshit. If, if you love something, let it go. <clears throat> I never understood what that meant until I let her go. And 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 the other thing, and I'm in, and and I am completely embarrassed to admit this, but I'm but I'm going to admit this is this was not the goodbye dulcinea video that uh, I I the the final send off to dulcinea I had what I had been planning all day yesterday it was just this mean cheap video of, of, of how I was going to send Dulcinea off in, into the universe. I mean, I, 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 was, I, I spent probably hours planning this hilarious uh, Hambone sends his final goodbye to Dulcinea. And it, it was for a cheap laugh. And, and 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 it was it was just mean like how could how could i profane this feel the feelings i have for this woman by by, by making some little uh, ha ha isn't Hambone Little Tail funny with this one? And, 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 and the mushroom guy just slapped me upside the face like, what the fuck were you thinking, dude? What the fuck were you thinking? How, how, how you could treat her like that. So, those were the messages I got. Well, I was I, I was less than an hour into this. Uh, I, I I was less than an hour into the trip, and I thought it was over. And I said, "All right, my heart has gotten rid of Dulcinea. I have sent her off." Into the great beyond, I wish this woman nothing but peace, love, joy, and happiness for the rest of her life. 
If it doesn't include me, then it doesn't include me. Uh, it's her life. Let her live it. Uh, and, and I thought it was over, and I thought, okay, that's done. Uh, why don't we go out there and watch the full moon rise or something? And then, uh, and, and then the uh, probably like about 10 minutes later, uh, the mushroom guy goes, what, what the fuck do you think? Do you think that was the end of it? And I said, what are you talking about? And they they said, well, well, dude, you you haven't gone through all of the stages of acceptance. You're not ready to accept that Dulcinea is gone out of your heart and out of your life. And I, I said, you're still you're still in denial and bargaining that you're that you've forgotten the grief stage. that you just skipped right over grief. So I said, okay, give me the grief stage. Well, I got the grief stage. I got the grief stage. I got uh, I, I, I got my ass kicked. And, I, and I'm not saying that a one gram 15 minutes of deep grief it's going to completely, you know, make me reach acceptance that this woman is gone from my life. But it, it sure is hell a good start. I will have relapses, but something tells me the relapses aren't going to be as bad and they're not going to last as long. I realize that I still have work to do, and uh, but a, a, a huge step forward. So I did some grief work. I cry. I, I mean, I cried more last night than I ever cried for when my mother died. To, uh, to, to come to acceptance that the woman that I love more than any woman on this planet that I have waited my entire life for is out of, she'll, she'll, you know, obviously she's never, there, there, she's always going to occupy a corner of my heart, but she's not going to occupy the whole thing anymore. And, uh, and, and there's got to be space for another woman. I, there's, you know, I switched my pile of fish profile out of Florida up to New York, the very first profile that interested me that I clicked on, what the woman says is, I do not want to hear from you if you are still hung up on another woman. I am not her, four exclamation points. I am me. So anyway, you know, all, all of this drama I've been through with this woman right here, I have never cried a tear for her. So I finished that, and I said, okay, Mushroom God, I am in acceptance, and the, <laughs> you, you, you know, I, I, uh, my, my, my heart 
and my head, uh, uh, we are together on this. We have accepted the fact that Dulcinea does not want to be my Doomer chick forever. Uh, we've accepted it. We've cleaned the space off our disk. And we're done. What can we talk about next? And the mushroom guy, no, 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 dude. You have got one more job. And I said, really? And I said, what are you going to do to me now? And the uh, mushroom guide said, okay, you have still got some disc cleaning to do. You need to make room on your desktop storage. And I was gripped with absolute fear because I knew exactly what the Mushroom God was telling me to do. Now, I honestly don't remember if this is the second or third time that I have blocked uh, Dulcinea from ever contacting me again. You know, I've blocked her on all of my emails, phone numbers. She's been kicked off my channels. But every time in the past, there, there is one place I've come up short, and that is I have not hit the delete on this picture. This picture to me is one of the most important things in my life. This photograph, what this photograph is, she sent this to me when she yanked down her YouTube channel, her Maggie May YouTube channel. Just out of nowhere, she ripped it down and it, it tore it tore a hole through my heart when uh, when Maggie ripped down her YouTube channel and, and my and, 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 and I, I, I mean she knocked me shitless and I begged her to send me one picture this was and, and this was the one time in her life pretty much that the little red-haired girl sent me a valentine. This is the one valentine I, I ever received uh, from, from uh, Dulcinea. Uh, you know, Dul Dulcinea, in, 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 in four and a half years, she never uttered the words, I love you. She never wrote, typed the words, I love you. She could, I got her just recently to type the words, love you. And when we would talk, she would close with the word love. I never heard the words, I love you, out of this woman's mouth. Never heard them, never, never read them. Uh, and, and this was as close as I had to it. This picture had, has put in, has, has simultaneously on one hand caused me more pain and grief than any picture I have ever had. And on the other hand, it is this picture that has gotten me through some dark nights of the soul over the past four and a half years when everything else was gone in my life. Uh, I, I knew that, that I, I, I know that I could go on and look at this picture. Uh, and, the, and the thing about this picture is you know, every single person I have ever shown this picture to has the pretty much the only word for it is recoil. They've recoiled from it. They, they, everyone who has ever seen this picture, 
they immediately look in, I guess it's the, I just learned the term yesterday, the borderline personality I. Uh, that it would usually be just some derisive joke. Uh, you know, uh, the closest compliment I got to this picture was this friend of mine in Texas. She saw it and she said, she, she, she goes, Hambone, I, I, I try to have sympathy for everyone, but I cannot have that energy in my house. And so everybody, everybody who has ever seen this picture, they, they've seen madness, they've seen danger, uh, they, in 100% agreement looking at this picture, uh, Hambone, you need to get that woman out of your life that, uh, and, 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 and I look at this picture where everybody else sees all of this stuff. I see the most beautiful woman I have ever met in my entire life. I, I, I see beauty, intelligence, passion, I, I, uh, you know, what do the Rolling Stones say? Find a girl with the faraway eyes. I think there is more power in this photograph than, than in the Mona Lisa. How anybody could look at that photograph of that face and, 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 and not know that they were looking at a, a very d d d special evolved being. So I, I, I don't know why, I, I mean, my head looks at it, okay, and kind of agrees with people. I'm looking at a mad woman. But this picture literally is, 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 is one of the most important things in my life. And you know what the mushroom god saying, you have one job left. One job left. Well, kind of two jobs. You need to delete the entire Dulcinea file off of your desktop. You know, it's all my Dulcinea rants that I've... Other than this one picture, it's every rant that I have ever had about her... It's when Ariel was doing the tarot card reading. That one's in there. It's probably six or seven of, uh, of these old uh, Maggie Mae videos that I had managed to save before she ripped her channel down. Uh, all of that needs to go. But above and beyond everything else, you need to hit the delete picture on this picture. As long as you have this picture on your desktop, you have not let this woman out of your heart. So the psilocybin mushroom has... I, I, I couldn't do it last night. I begged the mushroom god, K 
can I sleep on it? And they said, you can sleep on it. When you get up tomorrow, this is the hardest thing. Now, of course, I realize you're going to say, well, now you have the video, Hambone. So I realize I have to delete this video in the near future. But right now, I'm going to get some... Uh, I'm going to get some... Uh, into the trash and 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 I and, and j just to understand I am not sending this woman into the trash I am sending I, I am sending this poison that has been in my life and I'm getting ready to hit the delete button on the one valentine I ever received from the little red-haired girl. This is Charlie Brown burning <sighs> Darling, I love you, which is why I am letting you go. Delete this file. Are you sure you want to delete this file? Hambone Little Tail, are you sure you want to delete? this file. I am sure I want to delete the single most important photograph I have in my life. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Maggie. Fucking up, man. Like, Fucking up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and uh, so as long as we're deleting that. Okay. Fucking up, man. <laughs> the last words I guess I will hear out of Dulcinea's mouth. I hit the delete and uh, I hear one of her old rants. You're fucking up, man. So now, let's see. Whole file, the entire Dulcinea file, including the You're Fucking Up Man rant, delete. And that is that. I took Terence McKenna's advice and I let the mushroom god manage the storage space on my desktop. If you have any 
storage space management issues in your own life? The mushroom god is your man. Goodbye, Maggie. I love you.